It's been a traumatic day for those living in Ovando. I've been talking to residents all day and their responses are all the same. They're shocked that something like this would happen in their small town. This is just devastating. Uh, it's a big biking community and uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Ray Francis has lived in Ovando for 25 years and he says this has never happened before. Not like this. This is an anomaly. The Powell County Sheriff's Office says the bear wandered into the campsite a few times before that fatal attack. Fish, Wildlife and Parks helicopters are still searching for that bear that killed a woman while she was alone inside her tent. For now, we're fairly confident that the bear is not in the immediate area, but we have taken steps. Fish, Wildlife and Park has taken steps to uh, hopefully trap the bear and we'll continue to monitor it. Local resident and saloon owner Tiffany Zavarelli says she was shocked when she heard the news. Something like this just kind of shakes us and, and this is a small community and more so than a community is a family. So it's a small group of people. Um, so it's a little nerve wracking. But she says it's already brought the town of less than 100 people closer together. I think there's a sense of unity with all of us. We're all in contact with one another and I think from my husband and I's standpoint, we just want the community to know that we care and that we're here if they need anything at all. Helicopters will go up again at dusk to search for the bear. And officials have closed a campground in Avando through Sunday. In Avando, Tessinato, Montana right now. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.